good morning from Walt Disney World at Fort Wilderness Campground. And we're hanging with Herky. We have had a really good time here. This is the first of a few videos we're going to do about Fort Wilderness. We've been here many times before and we really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Just so you know, it's not a fort and it's not really in the wilderness. Although there's snakes, <laughs> but turkeys, deer, squirrels. There's a lot of people here, Yeah. but the atmosphere is really cool. There's so many people here that are excited about being at Disney. And I think the thing that makes it really cool is that so many people are just willing to talk to you. Yeah. Where at other RV parks, you find that people are sitting inside and they're not out, out and about. This is completely different. Even the big rigs here, people are outside, right? Don't That's, you think? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And not everybody here is going to go to Ed the parks. A lot of people are just here to camp. So. I think another thing you'll see is just a lot of kids, people feel free just to leave their kids. Uh, yeah. Ride their bikes yeah. and, and everything like that. It's really enjoyable. Our four-year-old grandson has been taking Herky for walks around this loop. That's right. By himself. So, him and Herky. Yeah, we've been here all week. There's 10 of us on this campsite. Our daughter just left with her kids and our daughter and son-in-law just left with their kids. And um, so we're not as packed on the side as we used to be. One tent is gone. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you around what it looks like here on Loop 1500. And we've been chalked. Oh, that's right. So um, we belong to this Disney Facebook group called Disney Campers. Non-official. Non-official Disney Campers. Right. And um, they encourage you to chalk the end of your driveway and, and leave people come by out. and sign you, sign your, your driveway. So. Our chalk is no longer out because somebody ran over the container and squashed with the, it. With the car. <laughs> we have no idea. I think somebody just didn't see it. Anyway, here we go. Let's look around. been chalked and look we have somebody from Canada they sign their name and then where they're from or their site number it is so much fun we have Canada New Jersey Georgia and different people have put their site numbers right so the, here's the, hello from 1517 1512 50, or 1550 15, 1511. So you can see this is part of the Disney experience. It makes it really fun as all the people put different chalkings on you. And right. they decorate their sites. Mine, it, ours isn't that decorated. By the pole, I have like a little mini planter and a flag. And then we have a big blow up Mickey up here. Come on, I'll show you. Here's our blow up Mickey. Herky's afraid of him. And our grandson, Eli, has been talking to him all week. So here he is, my Walmart special. So I saw on Facebook that 4th of July, people had taken the bandanas and made a banner. So I thought I could do the same, but with Disney bandanas. Not like I don't have any bandanas, right? So anyway, I made our little banner. And at nighttime, we light up a little bit. So anyway, this is our kitchen setup. It's different than we normally do because our son and daughter-in-law have their stuff here. And then here's our stuff, which has become the community. And then our daughter and son-in-law had their stuff down here, which they are gone now. And then we, um, we have two awnings up, the one that we have usually with the kitchen. And then this was our seating area. It also lights up. So one of the things about this Florida heat and your camping is you gotta have the air moving, otherwise it gets stagnant. So I kind of rigged up a fan here that oscillates back and forth and kept us kept the air moving, kept things from getting stale. You gotta improvise with bungee cords and extension cords when you're at Fort Wilderness. Man, is this green acres or what? <laughs> but each campsite comes with 
a 50, a 30, and a 120 volt hookup that you can hook up your camper to. So what we do, as always, we always hook the runaway to the 30 amp. I have an adapter, it comes down to the splitter. Like I said, I got it kind of green anchored up, but one of the things that I always do that I, that, that I recommend that you do is uh, put this bungee around the pedestal to keep the plugs from pulling out. Uh, last thing you'd want to do is uh, this pull out and uh, pull out the air conditioner and lose air conditioning in this heat. It's really great to tie your hammock up in the tree and relax after a hard day of walking around the Magic Kingdom. These squirrels have been driving Herky crazy all week. He is chasing those other things around like crazy. They're quite tame and they seem to pay no mind to people. You can't have a fire pit at Fort Wilderness. I mean, there is a, an official one that you can get, but you do have the grill at each site. Last night, Ed did brats. Uh, tonight, maybe hot dogs, I think. So anyway, yeah, we're just enjoying the shade right now. Look how big the sites are. They do allow up to 10 people per site. So we've had our runaway and two tents and three easy ups and 10 people with lawn chairs. So anyway, and they there used to be like a shell type material down here and they've replaced it with the pea gravel, which we like better because the shells stick to everything. So anyway, we have had a blast. And a great thing about Loop 1500 right across from the swimming pool. Okay, now remember, we have been in here 10 days and I wouldn't normally not let anybody see, but I'm just gonna let you guys see, but don't tell anybody what a mess you've seen this in. But what a blessing to have air conditioning. Uh, one day, our daughter and son-in-law and three her three kids came and took a nap, all five of them in this camper because of the air. And then one day our son and daughter-in-law and grandson came and took a nap in this camper. So here we go. Go look in there and see what you think. Hey, one of the neat things here at Disney at Fort Wilderness is they've got a cable hookup you can watch some Disney TV. Now for us, we've just let it run all week listening to the Disney music. Come on in, I'll show you. As soon as you are packed up and off the site, they swarm in here, hose off the driveway, break the gravel, make sure there's no trash, and ready for the next person to come. Now we're going to walk around and show you the 1500 loop. See what you think. One of the things we like about the 1500 loop is it's really close to the pool and you can take a quick hike over there and the sites are small enough. And the that, meadows is there. Right. The sites are small enough too that mainly what's in this loop is just small pop-up campers and small campers like ours. Whoop. Perky got distracted by a squirrel. <laughs> That's going to happen several times on yes, this walk. It is. Also, by the swimming pool, we didn't mention there is like a little um, lunch cafe by the pool, uh, fishing tackle rental, bike rental. That's where the Chippendale Fire is and a movie and the meadows, which is like a trading post, but we'll show you all that. So right now, the first stop would be the bathroom or the comfort station as they're called here. And they have a laundromat and the ice machine is there, which is a $2 a bag. Right. Yeah, so it's not bad, it's a big bag of ice. The bathroom, so that's where we're headed now. We're gonna show you that. Let's walk up this path and we'll show you.
So here you go. You know that nasty little chore you have to do at home. You never get away from that, even on vacation. So anyway, washers, dryers, but you have to use this machine. You don't use quarters or nickels and dimes. You use this machine and boy, did we have a booger of a time. And they also have this nice sink, which I use to wash my hair. And well, it's got a bathroom here this week. Always oh, close by it. Every comfort station is an ice machine. They don't take cash, but what you can do is put your debit card or credit card in there and you can get yourself about a 10 pound bag of ice. That is really convenient. So the kids have loved playing tetherball all week. And this is our bus stop. You come here to get a bus to go to the settlement, the outpost, to take and that's where you go to get the different buses to go to the different parks so anyway it's not that bad of a walk up here all right we have ended our short walk and tour of loop 1500 we are over here at the meadows so be sure and look for some of the next videos from Fort Wilderness. But right now, you know what time it is. It's time to walk Herky around the pool. And through the meadow. Yep, here we go. Bye, see you later.